Horoscopes are something many turn to when they seek information on love, happiness, health and wealth. But are the signs of the zodiac working for or against us in all matters of fate? Do they predetermine who we are going to be? These signs have been imbued with power and are said to influence the behavior of those born under the dates that define them. So what if these horoscopes were to produce evil as well as good? In this video we take a look at the horoscope killers. There is Dr. Marcel Petiot, one of France's most prolific serial killers. This medical physician took the lives of over 60 people. The story of this serial killer started in his teens. This is when he began to cultivate a double life. He successfully juggled careers in politics, military and his most useful career, a doctor. During the occupation of 1933 he embedded himself amongst the freedom fighters of the resistance. This was not out of some act of bravery or heroism wanting to liberate his captured country but a way in which he could find more business. He offered a service where for 25,000 francs he would provide those wanting to flee the country with safe passage. He would convince them with a plan in which he would give them a shot that would produce symptoms of an illness. This meaning with his paperwork and credentials they could be smuggled out of the country under the guise of seeking better medical care. They would need better care that's for sure as what he really did was inject them with cyanide, steal their money and bury their bodies in quicklime. The killer was suspected of 135 deaths, 60 now proved but at the time only charged with 26 counts of murder. This purveyor of death met his own end at the blade of the guillotine. The Zodiac Killer is probably the first name which springs to mind when talking about killers and astrology. For over five decades this case has remained unsolved. The killer had the whole of the United States on edge during the 1960s. He has been linked to five killings but is suspected of many more. From the letters he penned to the press the total could be as many as 30. The letters he sent to media organizations included cryptograms. In these documents is when he first refers to himself as the Zodiac. So as was said at the beginning Zodiac signs are supposedly able to predict our futures using the positions of the stars and the planets at the time of our birth. Let's take a look at these signs and see which has the most vicious killer. Let's begin with Taurus the sign that is linked to most serial killers. Those born between April 20th and May 20th. A couple of notorious Taurians are the British murderers Levi Belfield and Steve Wright who would later become known as the Suffolk Strangler. April 24th and February 18th are also two dates popular for producing murderers. So what star sign has created the worst murderer? Aquarius one of the most notorious Aquarian serial killers is Gary Ridgway also known as the Green River Killer. He murdered at least 49 women in Washington state in a killing spree spanning from 1982 until his capture in 2001. Aquarians are always looking for excitement and don't take well to people who are boring. They are also easily angered when someone breaks their word. Sounds like a short fuse, a characteristic that could lead to becoming a killer. Pisces The killer clown John Wayne Gacy was Piscean and though he appeared to enjoy art he definitely wasn't compassionate. Gacy sexually assaulted, tortured and murdered at least 33 teenage boys and young men between the years of 1972 and 1978. Personality traits of those with Pisces as their zodiac sign are that they are typically compassionate and artistic but hate being alone or criticized. Gacy made sure he was never alone by burying bodies of his victims 
inside his own home. Ares Alexander Pochiskin, convicted of murdering 48 people in Moscow in 2007. The Russian serial killer confessed to at least 60. Determined, confident and enjoying challenges are all positive traits, but those of this sign can also be short-tempered and impulsive. The Bull Taurus Taurians are reliable, devoted, patient and hard-working, but can also be stubborn and possessive, not good at adapting to change or liking things to be over-complicated. Our killer for this zodiac sign is the legendary serial murderer H. H. Holmes. Holmes built a now infamous booby trap murder castle. This palace of horrors featured soundproof rooms, secret passages, trap doors and even a crematorium in the basement. This sounds like a man who was devoted, patient and hard working. When it came to human slaughter that is. Gemini Peter Sutcliffe, the Yorkshire Ripper, went on a five year murder spree between 1975 and 1980 slaughtering 13 women and attempting to kill seven others. Geminis are said to be nervous, gentle people who don't like being on their own. Next, the crab, cancer. The killer of four, Robert Maudsley, did most of his killing behind bars. Cancerians don't take criticism well and can also be moody and tenacious traits that make them more likely to lash out. These traits in a prison environment? You can almost understand why he keeps killing. Leo the Lion Now here's a sign that surely would produce a prolific killer. And did. Moore's murderer Myra Hindley was the most hated woman in Britain after raping and killing five young children. This with her partner in crime and boyfriend Ian Brady. Arrogant and liking to be treated as the most important person in a room, Leo sometimes struggle to keep a grasp on reality. This is true of Hindley who slowly lost her mind in prison before her death. Virgo, a sign linked with romance and affairs of the heart. Virgos are said to love animals and many serial killers begin their crime sprees by torturing pets, something that would seem to go against this sign's characteristics. The Boston Strangler, Albert de Salvo, probably started with animals before he moved on to murdering 13 women in Massachusetts between 1962 and 1964. Virgos are said to be rude and don't like asking for help, instead believing they can do things all by themselves. The Scales, Libra a symbol of justice for some, but not for Britain's most notorious murderer, Fred West. Murdering and dismembering at least 10 women and children at the House of Horrors on 25 Cromwell Street in Gloucester, all with the help of his devoted wife. Libras are considered gentle and caring. This was definitely not the case with West, who even murdered one of his own children. Scorpio Scorpios are said to be truthful and brave but they are also known to be very jealous, violent and secretive. Scorpios are surprisingly suited for the traits of a murderer. Moses Sitho was found guilty of 40 rapes and 38 murders and fills this spot on our zodiac of horrors. Sagittarius Dennis Nilsson, a British serial killer, killed 15 men, dismembering and boiling some of them and often performing sex acts with the corpses. Sagittarians are said to love their freedom, enjoying traveling, being strong and independent, all things that Nilsson lost upon his capture. Capricorns are said to be family people who love closeness and tradition, but they also have many dislikes and can have moods where they hate everything. Someone who seemed to hate nearly everyone was the world's worst killer, Harold Shipman. Dr. Death. He was a Capricorn responsible for killing 260 people over a 25 year period. 
So, does our zodiac sign make us prone to becoming killers? If we become a serial killer has more to do with other factors, but a full list of these astrology linked killers was compiled and put into a book by David Jester. And how is this horoscope linked to our first killer? Michael Gorgolin posted an advertisement in a French newspaper in 1968 offering free horoscopes to those that replied. 500 people accepted the offer and sent this man their personal information. Why was this such a bad idea? Because the man who claimed to be Michael Gorgolin was in fact our French butcher, Dr. Marcel Petot. So, the next time your stars warn of a bad day, it may be that you could be running into one of these astrological killers. Do you believe in astrology? What events have the signs correctly predicted for you? Do you share a star sign with any of our killers? And if you do, do you share any of their traits? Let me know in the comments below.